Chapter 7, Dative Prepositions. I wrote you a list of dative prepositions. And again, you've got to memorize them, and you have to remember that after these prepositions, the nouns and pronouns change to dative forms. Okay, very important. So, here is the first one. Aus, after aus, everything has to change to dative. So, aus has different meanings. The first one is out of. So, for example, er kommt aus dem Haus. He's coming out of the house, right? You see the das word changes to dem. It can also mean from, if you say where you are from. Er kommt aus Deutschland. He is from Germany. Or you say, er ist aus den USA. That's a handy expression to, expression to know. Or you say, ich bin aus den USA. I am from the United States, and because United States is a plural, that's why it's den, aus den USA. All right, the next one is außer. Außer means except for. So, if you want to say everybody's here except for the professor, außer dem Professor sind alle hier. That's a fairly straightforward one. The next one is by. By has different meanings. Okay, by can be used in the sense of working for somebody. Ich arbeite bei Starbucks. Ich arbeite bei Macy's. Ich arbeite bei Home Depot zum Beispiel. So these are some examples of how you can use it. By also means at or at the home of, and that's very important. Because if you say that you live with your parents, or at your parents' house, all you have to say is, ich wohne bei meinen Eltern. And then it indicates that you're living with them in their house, in their apartment. If you want to say, um, you know, you call home, you're at your friend's house, and you say, oh, ich bin bei Emily. I'm over at Emily's house. So the house is understood. It's not used. By includes that information. So by means at somebody's home or house. It also can mean near, like English, by, you know, he stands right by me. Alexandre is by Washington, so it's in the meaning of it's near Washington, it's close by. Mit. Mit means with, just like in English. If you're walking along with your dog, ich laufe mit dem Hund, no special explanation. However, by means of is extremely important. If you say that you go by car, by bus, by bike, you always have to say mit dem Auto, mit dem Bus, mit dem Rad, by bike, mit dem Flugzeug, by plane. So if you're going to Germany by plane, you say, ich fliege mit dem Flugzeug. If you're riding your bike somewhere, ich fahre mit dem Rad. If you're riding your car somewhere, ich fahre mit dem Auto. If you're taking the bus, the bus, you say, ich fahre mit dem Bus. That's a very important expression to know. So you speak proper German and write proper German. Nach means after. Nach der Vorlesung gehe ich ins Bett. So, after my lecture, I'm going home and I'm going to bed. Nothing complicated about that. Nach is also used to tell people that you're going to a place. However, you have to memorize. Nach is only used if you're going to a city, a state, a country, and a continent. So, if you're going to Baltimore, you would say, Ich gehe nach Baltimore. If you're going to Maryland, you would say, ich gehe nach Maryland. If you go to Hawaii, you would say, ich gehe nach Hawaii. If you go to a continent, like Europe, you'd say, ich reise nach Europa. If you're going to Africa, ich fliege nach Afrika. So these are the two meanings of nach. After, meaning a time and to a place, and the place is limited to city, state, country, continent. All right, let's look at the uh, preposition side. Side means since, and it tells you about an incision of time. So, 
Ich bin seit dem Sommer hier. I have been here since the summer. It can also mean for, that you have been here for a certain amount of time. For example, if you want to say, I have been living here for five years. German is very straightforward. You just say, ich lebe seit fünf Jahren hier. And of course, Jahren is a dative plural. Because seit, since, changes everything to dative, right? Ich lebe seit fünf Jahren hier. And in English, you would say, I have been living here for five years.